No, this broke. <gasps> no! When did that break? I'm sorry. Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I haven't been here in four or five years and now I'm back apparently. So like, yeah, but um, today I have a brand new video for you guys and hopefully more videos and I don't stop this time like I did last time. <laughs> but um, I got the Makeup X Mario Brushes Signature Collection Kit and I wanted to do a review and a video for you guys. So yeah, if you guys want to see what I think about these brushes, make sure to keep on watching. <laughs> Don't want to feel you, don't want you on my mind, don't want to oh okay can i say that it feels good as fuck to be back because like i do miss doing youtube 100 percent. it's just super time consuming and you have to be very dedicated and i am but it, it gets like really difficult but we're here we're making videos it's pride month we got the dk pride collection guys go to dkmerch.com as usual go get the pride collection this shit is not focused okay yeah, but as I was saying, go get the DK Pride collection at DKMerch.com. You use code Josh for 10% off your purchase. Everything else on the website is 25% off except the Pride collection. 10% of all sales will go to the Trevor Project that helps LGBTQ youth when they're like, you know, having issues at home and all that type of stuff. So make sure you guys go get this. But anyways, continuing. Oh, oh. I'll, I'll just mention it later. <laughs> Me just saying a bunch of things. Here I have the Makeup by Ariel X Amorphe Signature Collection. And I believe this comes with 12 piece face and eye brush set, signature look, developed, tested, and perfected by Ariel. And on the back it says, For me, doing makeup has always felt like sculpt. I, I can barely read the script, so bear with me. <laughs> sculpting with the right tools your vision can come to life but while developing these brushes i realized how much makeup has actually molded and shaped me each brush is essential to my kit which is why i named them after people events and memories that were essential in sculpting who i am today i hope these brushes have as much of an impact on your life and artistry as they do on mine love area I love that. That is beautiful. And it just shows the whole collection on the back here with the uh, sponge as well, which I've heard is very soft. But I'm just gonna take it out the box. Go the box to the side. That was loud. And this is what the box looks like itself. So I thought this was pretty cool because it feels like you're getting PR. So I was like, ooh. But this is on the inside. These are the brushes that you get. So I believe it's 11 pieces and let me see, three 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 and then two so somebody do the math <laughs> who that is okay that's the little strap that goes under your foot oh yeah 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 yeah. you yeah, got yeah, one yeah. of those that's nine and two that's 11 and then 12 with the little sponge okay yeah but it looks so so cute and i don't have a sponge this color which is nice but i'm just gonna read what it says up here it says for me doing makeup has always felt like oh it says the same thing <laughs> So we know what it says. That's so dumb. I wish he would have wrote something else in there. So I don't have like what each brush's purpose is right now in front of me. However, I think from being familiar with brushes, I kind of have an idea. Plus I've seen a lot of videos of him doing it on Patrick Star and stuff like that. So I kind of know what the brushes are for, but this little sponge is so cute and it's so soft. Ooh, oh, my mind's a little messed up. No, <laughs> no. But um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna use it today because I have like 52 beauty blenders ready, but I'm gonna hold on to this. It's very, very nice. And then let's go into the brushes. Let's start with the first brush. So this is the Morphe X Aereo A21. So the numbers are right here on the handle. And whoa, they feel really nice actually. They have, okay, so I'm gonna compare them to my Scott Barnes, which I, I know is a little like, but like to me those are my signature brushes and they're very reminiscent of this i don't tend to buy brushes anymore since i've gotten those brushes but they were very reminiscent of the scott barn brushes which i look out for very specific type of brushes so i was very intrigued by these but they do feel amazing in the hand 
it's like a satin finish on the brushes and it's all monochrome so it's the same color on the handle as on this little plated part and the hairs are so freaking soft i don't believe these are vegan i believe these are real hair but wow and there's not like a lot coming out or anything like that oh my god but this is very comparable to my Scott Barnes number 64. Now, when it comes to my Scott Barnes is a bit bigger and it has more of like this tapered design where it has, I do think that Makeup by Aerial has more weight actually, which I do like. I like a brush with weight, but these are very, very comparable. This is a little bit more sculpted with the tapered edge while this is a little bit more bigger and rounded, but they are very similar. I could see this being used to set the under eye with a powder and also just for using it for blush as well and probably even for bronzer if you wanted to. I prefer a bigger brush for bronzer, but you could use this for bronzer as well. Going to the next brush, we have the, okay, I can get it out, A24. This looks like a foundation brush because it's very compacted and dome-shaped. It's very, very freaking soft. And I'm very excited to use this because I do love using a brush for some foundation. Wow, that is soft. This is going to be great for a liquid foundation, probably, as well as powder foundation. Next, we have the A58 brush. And this, ooh, this is interesting. So, personally, from my experience, this looks like a blush brush, slash, and or, like, a contour brush. Since it's, like, more densely packed. But this is very nice. It's very, oh one hair just fell off which is pretty normal when you get new brushes like you'll see it's usually like five to ten but that's the first one i've seen come off however it is very compacted so i'll see what i do with this guy i'm gonna check the website after to see what their intended use is and see what i thought compared to it but the next brush we're going into is the a32 oh a3.2 brush <laughs> And this one is similar to the first brush we saw. However, this is a little bit more compacted. So as I was saying, the other one, you could probably set the under eye. He looks like he has an intended brush for setting the under eye. While the other one, it looks like it's for blush. But this is a very, very nice brush. And it's just as soft as the other one. It's more pointed, more precise, you know, for smaller areas compared to the other one. It was a little big for the under eye, but you know, I have a big face. Ooh. This looks like a highlighting brush. I do not have anything that's comparable to this except for like my Morphe 501. However, my Morphe 501 is a lot smaller than this. This has a lot more hair. They already seem to be like straight out. So it definitely looks like some real hair, but this is very nice, very soft. You could easily, you know, put some highlight. I could be completely wrong, but we'll see. Next, this guy looks like a, ooh, yes. This guy is comparable to my favorite brush of all time, my Scott Barnes 62 brush. This guy is a little bit bigger, but this looks like a blending brush, kind of like an everything for me, but you know, you can lay and blend with this as well. Next, we have a similar brush to the highlighting brush, but again, more precise. So this could be another blending brush, you know, for the crease and stuff like that. Just once you place it with the other brush or any other brush, could probably buff out and blend with this brush right here and this is the a11 i forgot to say the numbers <laughs> the last one was a14 if anybody was interested next we have what looks like um a brush to place pigment uh, any type of pigment especially shimmers or mattes it looks like it's very densely packed and kind of looks like the e4 from morphe so it very very reminiscent of that um very very soft like the rest of the brushes and then we have the brush that I'm most excited for. This is a very flat brush, perfect for putting colors right in the depth of the crease. I'm so excited to use this little brush and it's very, very small, very compact, like the last one. Next, we have the A18 and this is a smudging brush, it looks like. And it's, this is one of my favorite brushes, I will not lie. I love a smudge brush for nose contour and under eye to put a color as well. This, I believe, is a must have for any kit. These are really great brushes. And last but not least, we have the A19, and this is a dual ended brush. It looks like we have a brush for concealer over here. Oh yes, a concealer brush. I feel the synthetic of this. So this is vegan, and this does not feel like the real hair. And this guy is just a straight, straight um you know 
really thin like one millimeter brush great for lining the eyes doing liquid eyeliner you know if you want to put under the eye as well if you don't prefer the smudger these are all very 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 nice brushes ariel killed this so now we're going to use the brushes of course to get ready i'm going to try to use all the brushes i'm going to check what his intended uses are for the brushes and see if we can use them in the way he intended so we could get the effects that he wants but yeah i'll be right back okay so i checked what the brushes like are intended for you could say but uh brushes don't always have an intended purpose use you can use them as you please however this is ariel's intended purpose for the brushes i, I personally like to see that because most of the time when they have an intended purpose for the brush they work mostly well for that but <laughs> the first brush he says is a bronzer and a setting brush like i mentioned however he does say this is like for just general setting like all over the face then we do have a foundation brush this is actually synthetic and they this is for liquid foundation obviously or powder foundation too then we have a cream contour right here and this is for doing for blending out cream contour apparently which is interesting because to me it looked like a blush brush and then this is a powder contour brush and then we finally have our blush brush which i thought was the highlighter brush and then we also have the like more precise setting brush so more for like under the eyes and stuff like that then we have a blending brush and also a fluffy blending brush and then finally we have a packer like i had mentioned to pack you know pigments on the lid and a smudger and as well as the dual ended concealer brush so obviously to place concealer and then i guess this is to clean up like the brows when he does the concealer because he does do that a lot but yeah that's pretty much everything those are all the brushes in the collection but now we are going to do a look with them and see what i think about the brushes of course all right so let's see how can we start in the spirits of okay i would use this mirror but it's super tiny so i got this mirror and it's small as heck and yeah my face barely fits in it so we will be going with Trixie Mattel's mirror we have this lovely one to match with the background <laughs> this is way bigger I also have kimchi's mirror which is nice with some light let me grab that I'm mirror obsessed this one has lights which is nice because then I can see what I look like and I don't block the ring light <laughs> but let's get into the brushes so um first i'm gonna prime my face as per usual i'm not gonna skip out on anything of course let's see what we're gonna use to prime okay so first we are going to go prime our face so i have the pretty little pretty Oh, I don't know what the fuck this brand is called. Pretty Fitter Ice Sherbert Primer. And this is from a touch and so I got this in my BoxyCharm recently. I haven't been doing BoxyCharm videos. But we're going to try this out. I heard it's spicy on your skin, so I'm excited. I'm going to use... Oh, what the frick? That's it. It looks like that. It doesn't smell like anything. I'm going to grab my mirror and try this out. See what's up. See what's uppity up with the, with the young kids now uh, on the Tiki Taki. Okay, I'm just going to use one in the glass. I don't know. Oh, oh, okay. What the heck? This is weird. Oh, it feels... Oh, it's like cooling on your face. But it feels... Okay, I'm going to go with a good amount. Oh, I feel like that's a lot now. <laughs> oh, it's like really soft. Whoa. I really like this primer. I mean, I haven't seen how the makeup lays on it, but it feels really good on the skin. Kind of feels... No, it does not feel like that. <laughs> um, What does it feel like? I'm not too sure. It's very, very moisturizing. I low-key think I put too much. But I don't know what it feels like at all. I've never tried a product that feels like this. But I will say for someone with really dry skin, I do feel very moisturized. Very, very moisturized. And like we're ready to put product on my face which i really like it kind of feels like the dewy one this one the 
Honey Do Me Up from NYX. Like after, after you put on your skin, it really does feel like that, how it leaves you so dude up and glowy and everything like that. So I do like it. Continuing, we will go in with the Dragon Beauty uh, Orange Fire Color Corrector for my blue hair from my beard, from my five o'clock shadow. So I'm gonna cover that up. A little goes a long way, just if you do use this, cause my dumbass always uses too much. Okay, now that I've placed all that color corrected there, I'm gonna go in with my Dragon Beauty Invisible Translucent Setting Powder so that does not transfer to my, you know, um, foundation and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna... Pretty sure I'm gonna get miners long after that. Jesus Christ. Okay, so now that that color corrector set so it does not blend in with my foundation i'm gonna go in with my bobby brown what is this called i forgot already skin long wear weightless foundation and golden honey that's my shade i'm gonna go in with our first brush from Aereo, our a24 brush and this is our synthetic foundation brush i am going to take let me grab it i'm just gonna put some of the bobby brown on my scott barnes artist glass i'm gonna do two pumps usually this is enough for me so i like to use this because it you know you don't lose product and you could just put it directly on the brush and stuff like that so i have my brush packed with product we're gonna see how this works <laughs> I look orange as hell. Guys, don't mind the not match foundation. It was a summer color. Summer's right around the corner. I will be this color soon. <laughs> but the brush is holding a lot of product, I feel like. That's the only thing. I can't do my other ear because I have an iPod AirPod in because I can't find my freaking, um, what's it called? I can't find my mic. So just deal with my AirPod in my ear that's falling out and has makeup on it now. So, I I like the brush, don't get me wrong. I do feel like it holds a lot of product, like I was saying. Like, it, like, it won't let go of the product or something. I'm just like, give me it. But it is nice. It laid the foundation immaculately. It's more like a kabuki brush, more like Kim's, I imagined, because Kardashians makeup artist, but it's more like a blend and buff more than like um a tap what I do with my Scott Barnes one. But I do still like it a lot. My mustache is still coming through hard as shit. I tried to cover it. But we like, we like, we do like. Continuing. I'm going to go in with my concealer from El Maquillage. This is the Fuck on Flawless Concealer in shade 10. This is one of my favorite concealers that I have been missing to conceal my life. For a minute, let me just mix the formula because it's, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> oh, we still looking good. I love this concealer. Oh wait, before I do that, I will, ah! <laughs> I will be taking my beauty blender and buffing in the foundation, of course. Okay, now I will go in with my concealer and I will put that on all the places that I need to conceal. And now I'm going to buff that out with the Beauty Blender. Technically, okay, I fucked up already, but it's whatever. Now I'm going to go in with some cream contour. I would usually do this under the skin, but we are going to see the effects of what that brush does. So I'm gonna go ever so slightly. I do tend to um, do contour under the skin because I just like how it looks better, but I do want to see how these brushes work. So we're going to go in with the A58 and see how this 
cream contour brush works. So I'm just buffing out this product. And that was the Juvia's Place foundation stick in the shade Adios Abba. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, I see you. I see you, Ariel. Yeah, I love this brush. This is an immaculate brush. He killed this. So far, I'm loving all the brushes. They're immaculate. They blend. They're they're better than Morphe quality. To be honest with you guys, I stopped buying Morphe brushes, as you could tell, as I didn't want to support anymore. Plus, I didn't like the brush anymore. Like, after trying the Scott Barnes, I was like, yeah, no, they got to figure out what they're doing before I buy anything else. But I think Ariel went and was like, okay, this is what you guys are doing. And he just told them. But no, this this is, do you see this? Like, I just, I did I didn't do anything. <laughs> it looks so good. I miss doing makeup so much. Okay. Wow. But I go to Walmart after this. I'm not a big fan of the contour on top because I like the flawless look of when you lay everything, but it does look very, very nice, very bronzed. I love. So continuing with the next product, I am now going to set my under eye and I'm going to set my whole face as well. So first I'm going to go in with the A14, the precision under eye um, setting brush. And I'm gonna go in with my Dragon Beauty Dragon Heart Transformation Face Powder. And I'm gonna go in with the banana shade and I'm gonna set my under eyes. I mean, most of the products I use are within themselves great products, but I'm loving these brushes. And I look highlighted as hell. And I love that. <laughs> Continuing with the next brush, we are going to go in with the A21 brush and I'm gonna set all over the face with the other powder from Dragon Beauty. The same one I used before, the invisible powder. And now I'm just gonna set the rest of my face with this. Okay, so continuing the video, we are going to set the face and then I'm going to do some blush after. So I'm going to use, let's use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and the light of using Morphe products. Actually, let's use something else. Let's not use that. I'm going, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Spray. So now that I set my face, I am going to go in with the Kim Chic Beauty Thaler Blush in the shade Pinky. And I'm going to go in with my A22 brush. And I'm going to see how that works for blush because I've never used this before. However, let's see. Okay, I barely picked up anything. These blushes are really pigmented though, so I should be careful. Huh. Whoa, that's weird. Oh, I love this. Whoa, why does this kid know everything? First of all, this blush is beautiful. Bro, what the heck? Why is this blush brush like literally amazing? What does he know that I don't? Huh? 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 My? No, this is literally insane. I don't know if it's the formula. I don't know if it's the brush. I don't know if it's because I can't believe it's not butter, but this brush is amazing. I always wonder how he used to get that like blush to look so like sun kissed and like I'll be like, bro, what is he? What? And it's this brush. I loves. I loves. I loves a million percent. I put too much blush on, but I always put too much blush. <gasps> I dropped the brush. I love that brush. <laughs> Obsessed with that brush. That brush, if anything, if you're going to get any brush from the collection, it's that brush that you need to get. Because that left me with the cutest blush. Continuing into the next product. Yay, <laughs> making videos again. <laughs> okay, 
So continuing, we're going to go in to the highlight. So I'm assuming none of these brushes are for highlighting because I read the thing and none of them said highlight. So we will get our baby and we will get my favorite, my Scott Barnes number 66. And I'm gonna go into the Jacqueline, the flash palette, highlighting palette. And I'm going to highlight my face for the gold. Wow, I forgot how nice this highlighter is. Oh my goodness. And my under eyes look insane as well. They look so highlighted. That powder by Nikita is insane. But do you see my... Oh. Jacqueline girls, I need to get some more Jacqueline products soon. Gotta do a full face of Jacqueline. All those drops she been doing. <laughs> All right, continuing on to the next product. I'm going to go in with the Scott Barnes Solier bronzer right here. And I'm going to go in with the A21 from Ariel. I almost forgot. So we're going to try this baby out now. I'm going to put this right away. My kimchi beer mirrored that. So, you know, no lights doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Oh, I put the highlight before the bronzer. I'm not okay today, but it's okay. So we're gonna see how this baby works out with this Scott Barnes bronzer, which I absolutely adore. There's a little bit of orange that I never got over here. Hopefully nobody sees it. <laughs> okay, I love this brush. I really do. I'm loving all these brushes, which is really good because they were expensive. However, continuing with the brush review that is very long. <laughs> We're looking whew, snatched. The face is looking amazing. I'm very impressed with how the face came out. Not an aerial face. That video is coming later because I'm not doing that yet. However, we are going to finish off with the eyes, of course. I am going to go in and see how it will look, you know? So I'm going to go in with the Kimchi Chic, the Happy Palette, which looks like this. Very, very cute. The color story is very neutral, very COVID time. So I have my eye brushes here and we're gonna see how they work. I will say I'm very, very, very excited to use the, the packing brush. So definitely gonna try that out. So I'm gonna go in with the A11 brush, which is the blending brush. And these, color, these colors apparently don't have names. <laughs> so they just colors. So I'm gonna go in with the medium tone one that fits my color to kind of just do like a swatch of color on my eye. And this is gonna be almost like our base. I don't know if it's the brushes, the palette, or the depression, but wow, these brushes are good. I'm impressed. For the price that I paid for the Scott Barnes brushes, they're they're um they're treating me like that. They are treating me like the Scott Barnes brushes, so that's amazing. However, we will see as we continue. So now I'm going to go in with the fluffy blending brush and we are going to set this darker brown and put that on the outside of my lid and see how that looks. I'm going to do that same thing to my other eye. I forgot how, what, what the fuck? These brushes are so fucking good. What the shit? Bro, I'm not even more affiliated. Go get these brushes right now. <laughs> I'm just like... I'm not even trying and it's working. That's so good. Like you don't, I don't think people understand that like most of the time, like if you suck at makeup or you think you suck at makeup, it's probably your brushes. Like it's most likely your brushes. Like it's a hundred percent most likely your brushes that suck. Probably not you. You might suck a little bit, but your brushes probably suck more. <laughs> wow, it's hot in here. I forgot that it's summer. All right, continuing. I'm going to buff that out with this a uh, brush, you know, so it doesn't go away. Perfect, 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 looking beautiful. Now I'm going to take that packer brush that I've been wanting to use, and I'm gonna take that same color and I'm gonna accentuate it in my crease. And now I'm gonna take that blending brush and I'm gonna blend, blend, blend. Oh, these brushes are a dream. These brushes are wonderful, I love them. I really do. Yeah, I'm gonna take the liner brush and I'm gonna take the darkest color in the palette and I'm just gonna line the end of my eyes. Just to deepen it up a little bit at the end. Oh fuck, I just fucked up my makeup. Oh, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. 
I kind of messed it up, but we're okay. Can I tell you I'm loving these brushes? I'm not lying to you. I'm so wet looking too because it's so hot currently in my room that I'm recording in. Wow. Anyways, very quiet as well because just been, just been into the makeup, you know, you know, just getting glam and stuff. However, these brushes are dream. These browns, these nudes that I put on my eyelid look immaculate. We are now going to go in with the A19 and we are going to go in with the shade right in the middle because it's calling my name. It's fucking beautiful. You see how this brush just placed that color? That was the brush, not my finger. No comment, no comment. Ariel did that. Oh, wow. It's very nice. I still need a little bit more. Was worth the fallout because I don't even care. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so I finished the eyes, and like I said, I don't know if it's the palette, I don't know if it's the brushes, but that was too easy. We're going to go in with my finger, and I'm going to use the shade right above it just to put that on in my inner corner. Ooh, that inner corner highlight. Okay, okay, Kimchi Beauty. We see what you're doing. We always see what she's doing on this channel. What is there to say? This look is literally immaculate. All done with the brushes themselves. Oh wait, we have one last thing to do. The smudger brush. It's for my smudge, for my smudges. So I'm gonna go in with the same color that I used to darken the lid on the second go around. I'm gonna go in with my last brush, the A18 brush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that color. I'm gonna put this rose gold, rose gold color in my waterline. I just realized that that's going through my background. Probably gonna mess up my video. We love that. We do love that. Now I'm just gonna put some Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara on my eyes. That's pretty much the look. We've used all the brushes. I'm just gonna finish off with a lipstick and a lip gloss. I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown Luxe Lip Color and Neutral Rose. This lipstick is literally immaculate, like so immaculate. <laughs> no, the look, look, the look is amazing. I have to finish it off with some lip gloss. We're gonna go in with the Trixie Mattel lip gloss in the shade Prism. Okay, the lip gloss and the lipstick did not like each other, but it's okay. <laughs> We're gonna rock it. No, the, do you see this? I haven't done a look in so long. Well, that's not true. I've done some makeup looks during COVID. However, for a video that I haven't done in very long. I love how it came out. My neck is obviously way lighter than my thing because, you know, summer color foundation. She was here, I used her, my color's coming soon. <laughs> it's been pandemic. <laughs> but no, I really do like it. It came out amazing. I love how it looks. So going through the brushes, first up we have our sculpting our setting and bronzing brush the a21 i love this brush i can't wait to use it more it is very similar to many of the brushes i already love and i cannot wait to keep using it next we have the a32 this is a powder contour brush we actually did not use this brush today because i actually don't tend to use powder contour <clears throat> i should have to try out the brush however i forgot to be honest with you <laughs> But I don't imagine the brush would be nonetheless but amazing, just like the rest of the brushes Ariel has brought. Next, we have our A58. This is a cream contour brush. I love this brush. I don't have a brush specifically for cream contour, but now that I do, I can't wait to continue using it because I do love my cream contour. Continuing with the A24, this is a Kabuki style foundation brush that we started the video off with. It laid the foundation immaculately as the base and foundation for this video. So I love this brush. Great way to start off. We also have the A22. Go back if you need to see what I think about this brush. This brush gave us the most beautiful blush. I can't wait to continue using this brush and astonishing people with the shape and how it's used. <laughs> Next, we have the A14 brush. This is the um, precise setting brush we use under the eye, which gave us that very highlighted effect, as well as all the fallout that I have from the palette. <laughs> so if you want a brightening effect on the eyes, you know, just get some fallout going there. Next up, we have the eye brushes, starting off with the blending brush. 
this blending brush the a11 was immaculate it, blend, it blended out every shadow like a dream i don't know if it was kim chi's formula i don't know if it was the brushes but in unison it created a beautiful eye look that i did effortlessly the a20 now the a19 which i used to set this shimmer synthetic concealer brush first of all two uses if you get this because this is an immaculate pigment setter so i would highly recommend Next, we have the A20, the fluffy blending brush. We use this for the end to darken it up and it worked like a dream. I literally placed a product with this, boom, boom, and it was set. I couldn't believe it. You saw it for yourself. <laughs> Next, we have the A18, the little smudger brush. I have a bunch of these in my kit and can't wait to keep using it. I love a smudger brush, especially for the under eye to hit a little bit of color. And last but not least, we have the A29, the brush that we use to create our crease with the colors. I love this brush and this is the coveted brush that I've been waiting for because in all of Ariel's tutorials, you need this specific type of brush to create the creases he does. And I was happy that I could today, <laughs> which is why I kind of went for an Ariel type look where, you know, you know, but yeah, I... The brushes are 100% rated for me, get them. As soon as they're back in stock, I will highly recommend not to you know compare them to brushes that are like not even there with them but like these are my trusties you guys have seen the videos on my channel the scott barnes brushes for me are like my life and i love these brushes and the fact that these brushes amount to something that i truly dearly dearly love to my heart i can't wait to use these other brushes as well just like i have been using these because they're on the same level and they're a fourth of the price so <laughs> But yeah, okay, so yeah, they're, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I give them a yes, I 100% say get them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited for me to be back and continue making content. Make sure you guys hit that like button and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're reminded every single time I drop a brand new video. And make sure you guys check out Deep of the Podcast. Of course, it is still going strong. We are about to finish off season two and enter into season three. So make sure you guys go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, CastBox, wherever you tend to listen to podcasts and go stream Deek of the Podcast. Make sure you guys go to deekamerch.com and get your Deek Pride merch that's available for the month of June. And as well as go to Tavare Skin at TaverSkin.com and shop skincare as moisturizers, charcoal face masks, CC vitamin brightening serums, and so many other products. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't want you on my mind, don't want to feel you, don't want you on my mind, on my mind, on my mind, 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 m